since then. For one thing, there is just a lot of areas where it just doesn't seem to be right. So we decided to improve these by changing a bit of it, like squishing it off and then taking away the antenna to a wireless one built in already to a little bit of a wider screen so that it's the whole surface area. And then, well, just take out this little bottom part and add a little bit of a stand so that there's a place to put something else and connect it with. You get two! Pew, pew, pew. whack! Oh yeah! Super class! The Modern World TV. And that's a very high innovation compared to this lame old one. But let's just see what you guys think. Well, I hope it's a bit good and worth it. Because it better be, or I'm wasting a lot of time on this video. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone who's here and agreeing with me. Anyway, today I will convince everyone here, like I am, that the 1930s are way better than today. 2010s, or in this case, 2020s. This is the lame. This is the awesome! And I have three reasons. One of them is that they're free. And what I mean by that, they know exactly how to spend their time and do their old stuff. So that's something. They can be more content and they can go with their families more. Also, except for that part. And they're free from digital devices. Completely. They don't need things like, uh... Like science fiction robots, which don't exist, and can do this. But other than that, it's just a little bit of an awesome day. And speaking of contentness, our second one is that they're more content. They have less objects, and they have a lot less things, but they were more content. I mean, I just bought this hat, and that's all I have, and I'm more content. Except and with a little bit of a house, a mortgage, rent, and sometimes electrical appliances, that will be just it. And that will be just as content as we are today with some useless objects like this PS5. Anyway, our third one, with all of this restraints, it came creativity. The arts back then, like the Beatles, music artists like the Beatles and Rolling Stones, were actually one of the better ones than today's old bands, like Coldplay and yeah, I'm not gonna compare this with them. And those are my three reasons. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And hope you hate the negative. <laughs> position. Okay, I am in the negative position and I love the modern world. I love rocks. I love Switzerland and I love Doritos. Doritos, not that stands for the D. <laughs> I'm joking, actually stands for something else, but I also love baseball and I love modern world and I love the PS5 and the Nintendo Switch. Other than that, let's get on with it right now. Boom, 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 boom. My first reason out of my stream is that it's a mistake to say that people were happier in the past. I mean, we're still happy today, and we have a lot of content things. I mean, uh, well, we may have some useless things like these Legos, for example. Although the graphics are cool, at least, but it intrigues our imagination too. And if it wasn't for the 1960s, we wouldn't even have those. We had entertainment 
during those times too. So ha! See ya guys, suckers! Okay, never mind. On the second one, we have more wealth and natural resources and more than we can ever need. So we can share it. And then also you can improve their sharing trades and unions. So ha! That's one way and one upside of all this. Another thing is that it also has some perspective. Well, perspectives are awesome. There's just one thing that I don't really get here. Why do they think this has more perspectives than this? According to this, this has more globalization than that. Even that guy agrees. And, and unlike that guy, the globalization is an effort, a good effort. It expands our minds by going to other countries. And coming back with a fresh mind. Also, not exactly like this, however. This is ridiculous. Whoever wears their jacket backwards. But I think you guys just got my point. And those are all my three reasons why this guy is awesome. Thank you. And for these three reasons, we beg to propose. Now usually we want to see the results on the website that we use. We get these topics from and those what the same website had the surveys, but for some reason we couldn't find the survey of this one. So uh we can't show you them. Sorry. But I have a guess. And this is pretty good since you guys are mainly this class. You mainly like PS5 like pew 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 and Nintendo such as Mario Kart and like all that, I'm pretty sure you guys will like this better. So then, I have to say that this guy has one. Also, we're not sure. But, hey, it's opinion. What do you think who won? What do you think you won? See you guys in the next episode. And this guy drools. The cat in the hat goes back to baseball. Whoopie, 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 woo! Bye, guys.